Hello, my name is Lorraine Grover and I'm a psychosexual nurse specialist. I look after patients and sometimes their partners when they come along regarding erectile dysfunction, which includes the physical side of it and the emotional side of it, as it's really important that that's combined together. Using a treatment can actually help the physical side as, and the emotional side as well. Virigel Duo contains alprostadil, which is an injectable drug that's very easy to use and through this video I'll be teaching you how to mix it and administer it. Viridal Duo contains alprostadil which helps relax the vessels so they fill with blood and I will teach you how to mix it and administer it through this video. To use Viridal Duo you need to get a starter pack because within the starter pack you will find continuation pack and a plastic applicator that you will keep and reuse. So to put this together you take out from the continuation pack an information leaflet which you have here and two vials and two needles because each time you use it you use a new vial and a new needle. So we will tear off one can see here and the applicator that you're going to put the vial into unscrews and then at the back here you will peel off the paper and the pack is sterile so when you take the glass vial out don't touch the end if you did happen to touch the end you can use an alcohol wipe to clean the end and you need to then insert this into the applicator and there's a groove on the top of the vial and there's a groove on the top of the applicator so if you line them up it will slide in really easily if they're not lined up you can't get it in so just gently put that in and screw this on one end, the blue top and then take the needle out and you take the needle cover off the top there and then that screws onto the other end and you can see now we'll take the two caps off the needle cover and it's a small needle and in the glass vial we have a powder at the top and a liquid at the bottom and there are two grey bungs and as I will be pushing up on this plunger at the bottom the liquid will go into the top chamber and dissolve the powder so we gradually push up until the liquid has gone in as you can see nice and slowly the two grey bungs have met and the liquid has gone into the powder and that has dissolved and that takes a small amount of time to dissolve and then we need to get rid of the air at the top if you go quite quickly and you develop some air bubbles you can just flick the top and it will bring the bubbles up to the top so that as you push the plunger as you can see here up nice and gradually until we get liquid out of the top of the needle we have got rid of all the air and you will see there's a measuring gauge on the side which shows one mil and one mil is the amount of liquid you will always have and the dose of that one mil as you can see here this is a 10 microgram pack so that one mil is 10 micrograms your healthcare professional will start an initial dose with you and that will either be 2.5 or 5 micrograms so you'll need to work out the dose you require so for example if I was to administer 5 micrograms I would actually remove half of the 10 so I'm down to 0.5 on the syringe and I, I know I've got an accurate dose to administer to use Viridal Duo peel back the paper back in and inside you've got the vial 
Don't touch the end because that's sterile. If you were to touch the end by accident, use an alcohol wipe to clean the top so it remains sterile. And then insert the vial into the plastic applicator. And you can see there's a groove on the vial and there's a groove on the plastic applicator. You need to make sure that they line up together so that slides in easily. If it's not lined up, it won't slide in and you don't want to push it in. So that goes in and the blue end screws onto the end of your plastic applicator and then attach the needle and to do that you take the needle cover off and that screws on to the opposite end so we've got both screwed on take the needle covers off and you can see here on the glass vial there's a measurement of, of one and so as I push the liquid from the bottom chamber into the top, the two grey bungs will meet and I will eventually be left with one mil of fluid in the syringe. So let's see this happen and just go slowly. So I've got to push up on the plunger at the bottom here, nice and gradually. And you can see the liquid has gone into the powder at the top and mixed it. And it happens really quickly. If you find that there are some bubbles at the top, large bubbles, tiny ones, it's fine. Just flick like this on the syringe and you will find, like you're seeing here, that the bubble will rise to the top. And then you carry on pushing on the plunger until you get the air out and you get a flow of liquid out of the needle and then that's safe to use. And we have one mil of fluid in the syringe. Now it's important to know how much you're going to administer because one mil of fluid will be the dose of the number that's on the box. So this one mil holds 10 micrograms. You can also get a 20 microgram pack and a 40 microgram pack. The 10 microgram is red the 20 microgram is green and the 40 microgram is a yellow number. Your healthcare professional will teach you the starter dose which will either be a 2.5 microgram or a 10, uh, sorry, a 5 microgram dose and you will need to remove from the syringe before you administer the amount you don't need. So for example, if I'm giving 5 micrograms from a 10 microgram pack I will waste half and be having 0.5 mil in the syringe, which is then safe to administer. When you're ready to use Viridal Duo, it's a good idea to keep your penis straight and imagine it as a clock. And at 12 o'clock, you have the dorsal vein that runs along the top, and at 6 o'clock, the urethra that you pee through. And you need to alternate the injection site that you inject once in a 24 hour period and a maximum of three times a week it can be used. So you take your alcohol wipe and you would wipe the side of the penis. And if you think again about the clock, we have a 10 o'clock and a two o'clock position. We miss the 12 and six because we don't want to put the needle into 12 and six positions. You would then take your needle and insert it away from a vein. So as you can see here, there are some superficial veins. I'm right-handed, so I would inject at the 10 o'clock position in the shaft here and put the needle in to the hilt and then inject the fluid gradually into the penis. As this is a model, it doesn't flow easily into it, but into the penis, that would flow very easily. If for any reason you felt any resistance, you could just slightly bring the needle out, and it may be the end of the needle is up against the vessel wall. And as soon as you remove it away from the wall, it's a bit like a hosepipe, and you push the plunger, the liquid will go in. 
When it's all in, you simply remove it, and that just takes seconds to do. And massage the penis to help you get an erection. You can see in the information box in the leaflet, there's also a diagram showing you the position of where to insert the needle. When you're ready to use the injection, keep your penis straight and think of it as a clock. And at 12 o'clock, you've got the dorsal vein and at 6 o'clock the urethra. So looking back at the clock, at a 10 o'clock position or a 2 o'clock position, you would miss these landmarks where, where you put the needle. So you would use your alcohol wipe and wipe, I'm right-handed, so I'll wipe the right side of the penis on the shaft and then take the needle in, and the um, syringe and bring it, avoiding a vein, so that I take the needle and put it into the penis to the hilt and then push the plunger. As this is a model, it's difficult for me to put the liquid in, but if that was to happen at you at home, it may be the end of the needle is up against the vessel wall and sometimes you may feel a slight resistance, so just very gently bring the needle slightly back and push the plunger and it will go in smoothly. It's a little bit like having a horse pipe up against something and it won't go in smoothly. But normally it will go in in a few seconds and your erection should last about an hour. Once it's administered, you take the needle out, massage the penis and that can help the drug spread along the shaft. Inside the box, there's also an information leaflet and it has a diagram of where to administer as I've just explained to you. It's a helpful note. Before we did to do this one, so you just kind of turn it and just show a bit it's on the kind of side profile, that's it. Okay. Is that it? I think so, I think we've... When you've finished with your injection, having a sharp box and a needle cutter to hand is helpful. You can get a needle cutter from your healthcare professional or contact UCB Cares and they will be able to send you one. To open up the needle cutter, flip back on the little black part at the end, it flips open. It has a rattling sound, but they're all new, they just have that sound. Insert the needle into the hole and then push down on the cutter and that snaps the needle into the cutter so it's safe and you then need to remove the bit on the end where the needle was and that can go into your sharps box. Then to take out the glass vial you unscrew the plastic applicator, slide this out, it can be helpful to either let it drop out or if it's not coming out easily you can push where the little window is and it will come out and that can go in the bin of your household waste and then you can actually keep your applicator because that's important for you to reuse it if for any reason it was to get dirty just wash it in warm soapy water let it dry and then you're ready to use it again if for any reason your applicator was to get broken or damaged in any way contact UCB Cares and they'll be able to send you another applicator Viridal Duo is an injectable treatment that contains alprostadil, which helps relax the vessels in the penis and therefore help you get an erection. Viridal Duo does not need to be stored in the fridge. It needs to be kept out of the way of children and shouldn't be stored above 25 degrees. The correct dose is a dose that will give you an erection to last for about an hour. It's important that you discuss this with your healthcare professional because you need to gradually increase the dose to achieve that hour erection. If you inject into a vein, you may find it won't work and it can bleed and bruise around the injection site. Just apply some pressure and it will stop bleeding. Your erection should last for about an hour. If it was to last two to four hours, speak to your healthcare professional as it may be necessary to alter the dose of the drug. If it was to last four hours or more, it is important that you must seek medical advice urgently. You can use Viridal Duo once in a 24 hour period, but no more than three times a week. And it's important you alternate your injection site from left to right.
Really? Viridal Duo is available in two different packs. There is the starter pack that contains the plastic applicator that you keep and reuse and a continuation pack. If you do need an applicator, you can contact UCB Cares and they will be able to send one to you. The mixture of Viridal Duo that you have made is intended for single use only, so any that remains should be discarded. There's a patient information leaflet in every box of Viridal Duo and further information you can obtain from your healthcare professional about the product. Any more information that you need, don't hesitate to get in touch with UCB Cares.